Hi everyone, it's Luann and I'm here with a video on a mini that I started and finished today. Okay, quote unquote finished. Um, I actually don't know if I'm going to do some ribbon binding on this one, so and a little bit on the front. So technically I'm not finished, but I'm mostly finished. I'm like 99.9% .9 finished. So this is the mini album that I did and I'm excited for two reasons. I'm excited because this is going to my daughter and I'm actually going to let her kind of do what she wants with it. We will add photos to it, but you know, I'm going to have her keep it. She's four and I really don't like her having things and keeping them because, you know, she might mess it up. So this is for her to keep. And another reason why I'm excited about her keeping it is because the paper collection that I used is the DCWV The Girlhood Stack. And this is the eight and a half by 11 paper that comes in a pack of 180, which is an awesome deal if you get it on sale. And if you have a 20% off Joanne's coupon, you get like 60% off if you catch it on sale. So there's this, which I did. I was so excited about that. I actually got this one and the boy one. Uh, so this is the paper, and this is the thin cardstock paper. It, it's not it's not the typical cardstock. It's like a smidge thicker than printer paper. So this is, again, another reason why I was okay with her giving, or giving her the book and having her do whatever she wants with it because I'm not going to be hurt if she ruins, you know, the more expensive paper. Because, you know, the more expensive paper... You know how you put paper hoarders are. You want to make sure that that stuff's taken care of. Alrighty, so that's the paper collection. And the envelopes that I used are the clasp envelopes, which are these. The mustard color ones. This is a small one that I have that I've actually trimmed down. This is not the size that I used. I did use a different size, however I couldn't find one, so this is what I'm showing you guys for now. So this is the ones that I used. And um, actually the second reason why I'm excited is because this is a brand new style of envelope mini. I folded and cut it and did all sorts of weird things to this to make it look the way it was. I hadn't done this. This is my first book in this particular style. I hadn't done it yet because I didn't know how I was going to bind it without the two or each envelope that sits next to each other, you know, interfering with the next. So I figured why not try my ribbon binding and it worked great. Here's my ribbon binding there and I give myself an allowance of three quarters no sorry three eighths of an inch uh, typically I'll give myself a quarter inch if I'm not using any embellishments no you know roses or flowers or you know other 3d things um, so I gave myself you know three eighths of an inch I'm like it's a little bit more I should be fine but no I needed more like this is three envelopes and like if I lay if I lay it flat it'll be flat but if I add anything to it, like seriously, it's it's gonna bulk up. So that's that's my hesitation with adding the ribbon binding. Probably after I add the pictures, I'll add the ribbon. So here is my spine. I add, I added some ribbon here. I've never done this. This is the first time that I do this, and it's so cute. And then after I finished it, I realized that I cut them all short, and I wanted to add a couple charms. So I'll have to do that after because they're all too short. I can't add any charms to these. And then I have here a ribbon right there that I've wrapped. I've left excess right here and I started it here and I wrapped it all the way down and onto the inside of the album and then back over and then just tied a little bow. And this was to cover up this piece right here. I left it just the way it was on the back because again it's going to my daughter and she's not going to care about that and it actually doesn't look so bad so here's my outside and then here's my inside which you saw a couple seconds ago and I am going to point out that all of the paper is pattern paper so it looks a little loud or I think it looks a little loud so once the pictures are, are down you know it'll kind of tone everything down and that's one of the things that I always have to think about when I'm putting my books together because looking at a lot of paper I think oh my god that's so bright or oh my god that's just so loud or it's so busy and I don't think that well I'm gonna put pictures on it so it's not a big deal really um, but all of the pages are exactly the same all of the pages will look exactly like this first one or set up like the first one um, so let's get started on the inside this is my front the front of my first page we have a tag with a pocket there's a pocket right here another tag and then this one, so I put these back inside. And then this, the first page here, 
flips up. You have a room for picture here and a room for picture here. And you can actually add more pockets to these if you wanted to. I just didn't because I wanted to leave them as they were. And then on the same front sheet, there is a pocket up top with a photo mat here. And this tag here uh, is five and a quarter in height and four inch inches in width. So you can fit full size photos in here. You just have to trim them down just a smidge. And this one's a little bit larger. See, just by, by a little bit. My photo mats, all of my photo mats are blank in the back. And for the pockets, I attached a ribbon with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. So there's my first page. And then my next page, my next two pages here, it's the same thing. Pockets, again, it's the same setup. You have pockets. Then I have a really long tag here. I absolutely love this paper. Look at how cute this paper is. I almost don't want to even cover it up. The back is blank, so we can do some journaling. I thought maybe we can, you know, put pictures together and journal together. She can tell me what she wants to write because she doesn't really, she's four, she can't write yet. Another photo mat. Room for photo. And these two pages, all of the pages are the same, so these will open up this way. You can fit four photos, or if you want to cut down photos, you can fit multiple photos in each one. Close it up. And this pocket is the same as the first page. So if you wanted to, you can add another tag so that this this page or each page has its own individual tag. Or you can have uh, like a 12, in, 12 inch by, I think I did four and a half. Actually, four and a half by probably 11, scored in half and folded. You can fit four photos, or you can have more journaling, or you can have like a little booklet in, on the inside top pocket. So that is my second and third page. And then we have our next pages. And again, same thing, pockets, photo mats. Oh wait, I didn't show you the tag. Here's a tag for this one. I might add a tag for the opposite page so that they each have their own tags. Again, photo mat and another tag. And again, these open up like so. And in each, this is one envelope right here. And each envelope has a potential of fitting 20 photos if you are including these photo mats here. 20 photos, which is awesome because you I always like the you know the small books that can fit a whole lot of you know photos and things we want to keep keep for memories. The next page I have a little booklet here. Teeny tiny booklet and a photo mat. Oh and if my little brother is watching, sorry no HD. It takes me forever to upload with HD when I record with my camera. So webcam it is. My next pages. Again same setup. Another pocket, photo mat, pocket and photo mat. These come up. I, to see that. I love the owl and I love this. It's like a jean type of thing. And again, oh, I didn't show you the tags on the other ones, but they're all the same. Blank in the back. There's that one. And then my almost the, the last of my pages. I can't wait to add pictures to this book with her. I have it. And my very last page. Tree branches with leaves. Cute. My pocket and the inside. So this is the mini that I made for my daughter that she can play with, do whatever she wants with. And we will see how that goes. So I hope you guys like it. And I I never I tip actually I've never asked anybody to comment or to let me know if you guys like this. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I like it and I love the idea about it and I love that you can fit so many things in it and it's so interactive. I just don't know if it's something that other people would be interested in having and working with and, you know, adding pictures to it because, you know, sometimes it's a lot of work for someone who is not that crafty, even if it's simple like this, because this is fairly simple. You know, you just cut in squares and paste down. It's nothing like, you know, folding 
or cutting in circles or in ovals. It's just, you know, square photos or rectangular photos, normal sized photos. You know, you just cut them down and you glue them down. So I don't know if, I don't know, if I were to give this to my brother, he probably wouldn't do anything. I don't have any sisters. Well, sister-in-laws. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope you like it and have yourself a very happy crafty day.